and there was a stage where Kwatwa, certain businesses are allowed to operate. At that time, Nandane business here, they called like flowers, the business there is that even though when it eventually started, I also realized that Kukoni business is operating before as a Sekoyo anymore. You see, people feel like it's like more spring, it's summery, it's welcoming. Yeah. A sock, A dot sock. Um, it's from my name in my name. A from Ako and now sock from Sokwako, which is my name. Yeah, I've decided to, or I've chosen to use my name in my name because the brand is personal to me. You know, it's Do Ako M. It's Indian. My teacher, I wanna in London before now. It tells the story some as an African woman, you know. But in I'm telling the story in more of a design or fashion way. So um, now that we have a public exhibition of the city, how did you get this opportunity, and how hard was it for women to be more accepted for this? Okay. Um, I got an opportunity through Sida. Sida sent me here, and I do not think that Enzo was this if it was not for Sida, because the stands here they're not cheap for someone who is starting a, a, a business or someone who has a small business. In West Russia, like, one, I call I call Chipinyan, but I was lucky to see the one this is So, yes. So, how was your experience since so long? This is day one, so how's, how far is it? Um, it's, it's a good experience. It's a good experience because you meet different people, you meet uh, designers just like you. We share his struggles there too, and the same motivator. And also, we meet Abanya Abantu that are also within the fashion industry, but who are doing is in the maybe the Azir retailers, Abanya Zip buyers, Abanya Zip fabric. One but change favorites. So then I think it's a good experience in that sense. Because if you are alone, you won't really know is it is where I am until you go there and you meet up with people like you go to places like this. Yes. So which one is your favorite coming business? <laughs> okay, um, I think I think it's this one. If I'm not I Why think this it's this one. Why this one? Um, there's a story behind this, actually. This, first of all, the paint, the, the what is this? The, the print, yeah? The print is, is hand-painted print. So I've done the fabric. In fact, this fabric, yeah? So now, because I was just told like a, a month ago that I need to come and showcase here, so I, didn't, I was not prepared. We are walking. So I was, 
I decided, but you know what? Let me also take this dog and go and park and just so that it was doing a serious bad of my hand. So I came across the local sister one. I think even who look who so friend didn't to tell. And then I was like, no. Now let me create something out of it. So I uh, use the fabric. I, I mean, I use the dress. I change it from a dress to a skirt. Then I did fabric painting because I've developed this uh, new love or maybe okay, I don't know for for texture and for textile. So it's something that I wanna do. I wanna create my own um, fabrics, you know. So fabric painting. Yeah, it's something that I enjoy doing. So I was like, you know what, let me just try this and see. And what's the better way of trying it than doing it? I mean. So we definitely love your comments, not about the colors, most of the material. So how can we get hold of you if ever not you want to purchase a comment, or if you want something customized for for okay. December bonus? Yeah. No, you can follow me on Instagram. ASOC, I've got the, like a business page on Instagram. It's ASOC Designs. Yeah, and then you can just DM me. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm so nervous. I am the founder and the designer Ikhali. Ikhali is a trendy type of making culture cool type of uh, yeah. brand so basically we serve um, people who want designs uh, men female whoever it is um, we operate from the Eastern Cape so a business family in fact their registration not even knowing what I wanted to do so it was a year after Nkume Varsity. So I registered it 2014, but I started working on it 2018. And from then I went on doing a lot of things and I got to make these lovely jackets. So the, those are my niche basically. So good jackets is I even have one of a kind jackets where I make you a jacket and no one else can have it forever so I have those yeah um, yeah that's me <laughs> so now that you are here in Cape Town as you said you are not from here but you do come here sometimes yeah. so how is your experience since you just came to business like especially for, for this exhibition is it what you expected or getting what you expected for this event and what do you think you should change on your store, or maybe how people should change when it comes to um, how they are doing the situation. Yeah, the um, Goben Caesar, I thought I wanted to just showcase my jackets. Yeah? Yes. Um, but then, go because I've got dresses and stuff, and I was like, okay, let me just showcase the jackets because I know a lot of people love jackets. And then last minute, and I decided I know Monday's back is on. And Ear reception is 50 50, and it's nice to know like you get validation type of thing when people want to know about your work. Um, I've had people giving me advice. Um, I had one guy on Jumele email on things that I need to look at into my business. I've got people who want to do business with me, so I feel like it is a very nice first day. Um, I think people are seeing what I do and it makes sense um, to them and to me. Um, so I'm hoping that tomorrow and the next day will make future contracts 
<laughs> yeah, so um, I'm quite happy about Nam um, and the reception that things got. And we had a mini fashion show going on, it was cool. It was cool. Um, but yeah. So, who would you like to say thank you to now that you are here? Who's who's your biggest support? Um, I think the first um, organization that I need to thank is ECDC. They got me here as someone from the Eastern Cape, got the stall, got me here. I mean, um, I wouldn't have met you guys if it wasn't for them and basically everyone that's supported me since since and new people that support me and see the vision i'm i'm quite happy about that yeah so what can you expect from from ifali starting today until december a lot just watch my social media you'll see yeah. got a lot going on like um in october i've got an entrepreneurs event I'm a speaker there. It's going to be in East London, Eastern Cape. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, and I'm always pushing and making sure that life is happening. So, um, if you check my social medias, um, on Instagram, it's Ikhali Gazipo. On Facebook, it's Ikhali. Um, and, yeah. Everything else is on there if you want to get a hold of me. Um, you can email me on ikhali the collective at gmail. Okay, so I've got these. These are off cut jeans, old jeans. So if you want to donate, <laughs> yeah. And then, where is he? It's just like a normal type of jacket, nothing serious. Then I turn in. With these, says he done his ending well then get clear. And then I got to just buy a little bit and make this. I am Gilson Carlito. This is Chekic. I just wanted to show you something. I've heard a lot of people have been faking this design, okay? especially in this whole style. But I want to show you the difference. One is the name brand. A lot of people do not have this name brand when they are buying the Chekic brand. Okay, The same design, but they like this name brand. If you want the original one, you should have the name brand. Okay, And another thing is the inner sole. Okay? As you can see, it should have the chickage in the soul as well. And the third and last thing it should have is the, the soul at the bottom. It should be rubber. And within weeks or two weeks or a month or a year whatsoever, it should not become soft. It should remain the soul as you bought it. So yeah, that's how you differentiate the difference between fake and original. And in Nomashubi, Nomashubi Heu, Tingo Asem Tata, the figure epic up a book funda, the funda and a criba, the pangela, a pangelin guamunda, decided to call it business. Lena, I call it any business at night. What inspired this business is that Gela totally COVID, Pango 2020, around May is when I opened the store. During that time, you remember Abanda Baninzi, Babe. Then I got to a stage where I realized that there's something I can do to bring joy and happiness in people's lives. And there was a stage where got to a, certain businesses are allowed to operate. At that time, Nandane business here, they are like flowers, From there, I got the inspiration to do gifting so that people could send gifts to each other. You'll, you'll, you'll remember that Aband could not see each other for, for whether it's family members, whether it's just simple for a big birthday, just especially, yeah. So when you started the business, you 
Now that you know, Clash has to continue to get Okay. So the people who can get the circles in Rukhara, now that it's over, how have you received the business? Like, how many is it for Yes. When did I know what I think what I realized with the business there is that even though when it eventually started, I also realized that Kukoni business is operating before as an asekoyo anymore. So you'll find that they opened up opportunities for SAT business to be able to stay in the market and to be able to continue um, servicing the people that they were servicing before. Um, not because there are equal competition, con competition, business are lulang and I now you constantly have to um, put yourself out there by marketing, by meeting people and interacting with Abandu like Slap again I'm Shanji, um, to keep the business going. But for me it was a matter of people received the business in Gala and also continue to receive the business. The business kept on growing. Like I said, I was working from Engine, the move from Engine is shop from a demand basic from the fact that people want to come and see you buy a shop in Chinese, things in Chinese, people want to collect a gift desirable instead of buy a delivery shop car. So yeah. Yeah. So I've, I'm seeing a lot of opening up and actually playing the fishing and the fan, which is the day one. Okay. Um, I probably used to see a lot of different conditions. So, so how is your experience? Not um, like that we're not like, shopping for anything. Are people like you who know, love this kind of like in general experience here, but just by being here, who's all light on? I think I think the color pink in it is a color that I. I enjoy Jaguamna. It's a bright color. You see, this is the pink. The shop here is pink. I paint it with the pink from a pan. It's the color of the line that you can't really miss. Sometimes, um, do so, but not. Like um, as a shop, a bono, a baby, pink, a tumor, some sense in zip. So, there are sense in zip, but they attract me to the color. Even now, go, um, you see this is just as many people feel like it's like it will spring, it's summery, it's welcoming. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you want to put one of your services, how can you do it? Because it sounds like you do have a plan with the shop and yeah. how can you set one of your features? So predominantly we are available online website you can order online if perhaps maybe I will call the online savvy and tech savvy we've got a whatsapp line that you can call as well and we're also very available on um, social media Instagram Facebook challenge so you can pretty much contact us Napina got number for another guy or got number that you can send a message to even on our website you can send us a message oh okay so that yeah he had to show on yeah yeah the family phone how it is now is a visit Put that here, come here, just oh, here, I can speak to them anyway. Yeah. So how about we've got body products, mainly um, body creams, body washing products. I hope we've got candles, sprays, and all these things of Mugi Sagam Same as here, chocolates, Napa, sanitary wear, ears, heads, tampons, jalo jalo. And then we've got a snap at home, so let's say, and let's do the to the Thank you, Sia. Is I may call you Sia? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, my name is Jacinta, and I started a business called Koi Sun Child, and we are based in Hrabo, and we are a very small community. And we are famous for our hiking sticks, which is these ones that you see here. Yeah. Um, so I one day needed a stick. I was walking in the mountain and I needed a stick mm. to 
be you know be careful of snakes and etc and then the stick that I had was a bit very boring and plain and I decided I'm going to paint my stick and this is how this idea was born so we don't just make the hiking sticks we also make the walking canes as well so it's a it's an aid but it's not a medical device it's a walking aid and it's fun and it's colorful and practical <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's, that's nice that's very nice so who's doing the painting for you are you coming up with the designs or someone else mm, yes because i'm still a very small business i do okay. all the designs and paint work i do have the odd person coming in and assisting okay. every now and again so we obviously want to develop and train people to be able to do this but for yeah. now i'm totally involved of the entire art and design for these yeah. things oh yeah. that's that's great that's Thank where you. everyone starts when they are running their own Absolutely. business so now that you are here on day one and then this is something new to me and maybe it is something new to you too right so how's your experience by being here today and having your stall being exhibiting here all around for these um, amazing people that are out here um, so yeah, it's been um, quite an experience in terms of I had no idea of what to expect I came in here with, with, with um, hopes of meeting people, of seeing what other designers are doing, um, seeing what the trends are. And I've totally learned not just those things, but I've learned so much other things as I've gone along today. I've had some good meetings with people, um, um, got some good advice, um, and I know exactly how to take this business a little bit further from where we are now today. And it's only been day one. Um, I'm looking forward to day two and day three. Yeah, I'm so glad that you, Thank you. you also seen growth like in the first day so what can you expect from you um, moving forward for just only for this year we know that you're gonna implement certain things right from what you've learned from these few days that you're yes. gonna be here and then from there what can you expect for your brand are you gonna be international or maybe like um, are you gonna target other audience now maybe young kids um, or even older ones maybe you're gonna branch out to partner with CT and work with them when it comes to, to doing these things? I think um, you're giving me some good ideas there, so I'm going to use that. <laughs> but um, what I'd like to do is definitely go national. Currently, I'm basically in the Western Cape, in the yes. Overberg and Overstrand yeah. area. I'd like to take it a little bit further into the other provinces, but also just go nationally first. Yeah. And once I get my brand really implemented perfectly then i'm prepared to take it further so nice. i wanted to have some small walks first before yeah. i start running so but if if someone wants to purchase one of your of your sticks or maybe your know, product you put it that way so how can you get hold of you just to order just to go and buy like can you give us details as to how we can yes certainly on? so i'm available i have a whatsapp catalog and i'm available on whatsapp and shall i give you my number now Okay, my number is 0744-855-124 and then I'm on Instagram as well and my Insta is at Khoisan Child. So it's K-H-O-I-S-U-N-C-H-I-L-D. That's how you'll get hold of me. Then the word from the let some people work on that. Who says that who gave you some ideas to take it further to you?